Welcome guys, it's Glenn from Launch. In this video I'm going to cover a new module that we've added to the Pad series and it also flows through to the uh, Pro series. Now this module is called the X431 Fix. Now what we've done with this module is we've added it to the scan tool to give you more information regarding repairing the vehicle itself um, and technical information about the vehicle and right down to integration of the to the scan tool from reading the VIN number of the vehicle and selecting the information also the um, fault code so once you've done a full health check of the vehicle you can then uh, look at the information on relative fault and regarding that fault if it's um, regarding the wire diagram or information to fix that problem regarding the fault. So today what I've done is um, I forked up a pad 7 um, so you can simulate so we can work through it together and just show you some examples. It's only going to be a short video so we're just going to go through um, each of the areas because the module itself has a lot of areas to cover but we'll just give you an example of what we can do in the future regarding this x 31 fix module. So what I'll do is I'll hook up um, the Pros Pad 7, which I have, you can see it on the screen. Now we just do a automatic uh, integrator, intelligent diagnosis, so like normal when you enter the vehicle. Now this will read the VIN number, but the module itself sometimes can't identify the VIN. <clears throat> so I'll show you the example uh, in this case, um, what will happen. So you'll have the normal function of the scan tool. So we'll enter the diagnostics. Now as I said, this is to give you a bit more information regarding the fault code itself and also the wiring diagrams um, directly to the scan tool um, while you're working on the vehicle. So you don't have to have a separate computer to go to it. But you have to be actually online to do this. So make sure you've got a good internet connection and um, the system will work fine. Now you do your smoke detection, so we just do this as an example. We'll go through the topology and just go through the, each of the ones. It should have a few fault codes on this module simulation I've got here. I'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so we'll just finish that. And you can do your reports and that's like normal. So what we do is we'll pick a PCM and you'll see the fault codes on the side. But now you can actually see, we can search like normally through Google. So the code search will go through the Google software um, on the browser and look for that fault. Or you select X431 fix. So regarding the fault code, so we go to TP. It'll fire up. And again, um, regarding the information, um, if it doesn't find the VIN number, um, I'll just show you an example. This is a perfect example where it couldn't find the VIN number of the vehicle, so it can't identify it properly, but you use it manually. So we just go through, we select the manufacturer. So this case is the Ford. And we'll come down to um, a territory. And then you'll select the, the year model and so forth regarding the, the software. So it's quite easy to use. Um, it's full functional. I'm actually using the screen to move it up and down. Um, I can zoom in and out from the screen. So it all, all operates by finger um, touch. So we'll select the uh, year model. And then once I enter the year model, you can see the fault code appears straight away at the top. So you can see the P0122-60. So this is regarded the throttle position. So the throttle pedal sensor. So you can see the bit of information there. And if there's electronic circuits and so forth related to it, 
you'll see it in this area here of the electronic systems. Um, case study, if the vehicle has different case studies, which a lot of the European vehicles will have, um, and will recalls, it will actually come to here. Because this is a Australian vehicle, we didn't have many um, information regarding these vehicles, but overseas um, areas had the technical bulletins and also the recalls and so forth. But here in Australia, we have not got that uh, information here. Unfortunately, we've had to do it uh, the hard way. So what you do is then you'll select the um, relative area um, regarding the information, if it's a trans manual transmission or automatic. So we'll just select the automatic for an example. It will enter into the, uh, another page and we can slide up and you can actually see um, regarding a bit more information. So we can see the CAN bus views, location of the components. Now we can come down and then we can actually hit um, the arrow regarding the um, accelerator pedal position sensor. So I'll select that. And what I'll do is then we'll go down into um, the circuits themselves. So related to the throttle position, we have the throttle pedal position itself and also the throttle position sensor. So once we select the first one, number one, it will actually load a um, information up regarding the circuit diagram. So this will give you the circuit diagram. I can actually zoom up the diagram by touching the screen with two fingers. Um, I can move it across and so forth. On the left hand side, um, you'll see um, a number of steps. And now these are actually to, to the testing of that circuit. So for instance, the very first one, we use a multimeter, we can actually use the voltages and we can check those pinouts. Now, if we select yes or no, depending upon the next step, but if we set no, it will actually give you a bit further information to check or if it says no again, so the voltage wasn't there and I said no, it will then pinpoint that there's something wrong with the, um, in this case, the engine control unit. So it just gives you that step-by-step -step help um, regarding testing the component level. Now each one will be the same, so I've come back down um, and we can see we do the testing of those pins. Now also regarding the um, next step where I want to go, if I want to press the uh, ECU, which is the E1, if I press it select, straight away you'll see ECU. So engine control module will come up. And if I hit that, it will actually load the wire diagram regarding that ECU. So again, we can step back and go back. back again we're back here at the beginning or I can select this set ECU1 it will load the ECU diagram okay and then if I go along the top I can select it extended wiring diagram it'll expand the wiring diagram regarding the ECU E1 and I'll just let that load up This varies on the internet speed too also, because this is actually online, so make sure the internet. So if I come back down to the bottom and zoom up, I can see a bit more information. So there's the G2. So again, I can see the pinouts directly to the SU. And if I come back down and across, so I'm, it's easy to operate and applying the wiring diagrams, I can come in to this area. And we should have a bit more information. And then if I follow it across and zoom up to G1, which is our pedal, I can see those pinouts also there. 
But if I select that G1, it'll tell me what it is. It'll also then lo go back and locate that component to do the test itself. So if I double click on it, it'll load up uh, G1. We can see now, right? And then we can do our testing regarding our ground testing and so forth with the um, multimeter as required. So this gives you a lot more information and help step-by-step -step testing um, the voltages that you acquire and it varies from vehicle and manufacturing naturally. So we have added this to um, all the pad series and I said the pro series will probably come later um, regarding the information. So we can go to a component area so we can actually see the identification of a bit more information regarding the components okay and then supply on the left hand side if I select that it'll give me a bit more information regarding the voltage supplies okay its function so it explains the function of the sort of position or TPS okay and I can actually enlarge it so if I hit enlarge it will enlarge it Um, ECU pinouts, we can have those, so we can actually see the direct ECU pinouts. So if you want a bit more information, I said it's actually on the screen itself. Um, so you can be in the vehicle, uh, in the engine bay, and then do the wire diagram by just using um, the pad 7 itself and on the screen at the same time. So these are all the different pinouts. If I hit show, it will actually show um, the actual pinout itself. So we can come back and look at the pinout and pin 5 on A, block A um, can be seen. So we can zoom up pin 5. So it's a very simple process. As I said, we've added this module for you to actually help you along and repair it, the vehicles themselves. and other vehicles will have a lot more information regarding this um, and when I do go back um, to the remain frame which I'll go back out I'll just go back out further it has a lot more regarding repair data so if I select repair data I can have me uh, schedule servicing um, lubes and oils so we can actually see a lot more information regarding the vehicle on the scan tool in one spot so I don't have to run to the computer and look it up so we're actually giving you information directly to the scan tool um, and as simple as op operating it with your hands or fingers um, and zooming in and out regarding that information and as I said because it's integrated into the scan tool we're just using the scan tools functions and buttons to operate in the touch screen um, regarding the operation of the X131 fix. So I hope for, um, we might cover a little bit more over this video, uh, next videos, um, a bit more about it. Um, but hopefully this is just an introduction of uh, the new X131 fix added to the PADS series. Um, to help you fix the re-vehicles themselves a lot quicker, a lot faster. So thank you very much.